or something I forgot about it in two seconds That's about it Took me ten years to find the answer something. I forgot about it in two seconds. I don't have anything that's really important to me. That's why everything is beautiful. You hear it, the pulses of the living. The ironic rhythm is a grand orchestra. It's never the same tone. Who wants to stop this? There can be. When the violin stone is over. I will not, I will not, the town 
we're playing some Pokemon. All right. It's been a hot minute since we've touched this one. I've been so engrossed in Pokemon Legends that, uh... Really, who cares about Pokemon Shining Pearl? People like you don't, just don't understand what we do. You don't understand Team Galactic, so why is it that you defy us? I, uh, I defy you because... Honestly, that's just my forward progression in this game. If you, if you would have stood to the right a little bit more and just not looked at me, chances are I wouldn't be fighting you. This is your lesson for today. Just uh, don't stand against the protagonist if you know who they are. I couldn't understand the battle or your toughness. I went out of my way to deliver cool lines before the battle. Should've let me win, get a grip on reality already. Oh, so he thinks he's the main character. That that changes everything. That's that's a bit different. Hey! I smell an intruder! Do you think that they have, like, an in-house hairdresser for Team Galactic? Or do they hire someone out? Like, just someone here in Veilstone will, will do their hair for them. Swap Shotaro to the front. Nasty plot. Sharply raises special attack. That sounds that sounds like a good time. But that means I have to get rid of. See if I get rid of Psy Beam, then Zen Headbutt uh, Zen Headbutt does nothing. Eh, fuck it. We need a buff on Giraffe, right? I can live without Zen Headbutt for a bit. Sure, we'll swap out to Shotaro. No, oh, geez, Bone Rush is super effective. Hell yeah. That that was less. Oh, okay. It does more. I I maybe should have read the description of Bone Rush before I spoke. Just my Pokemon that stunk. We don't stink, we're on the cutting edge of stuff. Just stuff and things, huh? God damn it. Hey bitch, give me the special key. I'm gonna get lost inside the Team Galactic building, aren't I? <laughs> Man, the saxophone player on this song's really, really earning their paycheck, huh? Hey now, our HQ is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot lo- a kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Alright. Oh, Scientist Frederick, that's Saul Bad Guy. I gave him the wrong voice. all bad guy. How far you've fallen after the events of Guilty Gear Strive. I think maybe this is a giraffe rig 
Go ahead and just bite this thing in the face, Giraffe Rig. I believe in you. I know I should put Giraffe Rig, like, front and center, but I have no... no good place to put them. Maybe, like... Will they... will they stay up here? On top of the microphone? Yes, but the ring light makes it look gross. That sucks. Stick with Giraffe, right? Giraffe is a boy. Yeah, I guess I could just put it a bit closer to the front on the couch. There we go. That way you know Giraffe is here. Pokemon weren't part of my calculations. Our boss is trying to create an entirely new world. A world for only us, Team Galactic. That's all. Who knew the Pokemon Shining Pearl would have radicalized Soul Bad Guy? <laughs> Team Galactic will sit free all Pokemon. All of nature. <laughs> Team Galactic, will that known at all? Okay, I'm gonna take your stuff though, if that's cool. You're not gonna try and stop me, right? Good. There we go, there's the Galactic Key. Actually, I think I was just here. Yep. Alright, so we'll go back, uh... You know what? We'll go back this way. Maybe there's some cool stuff that I can unlock with this key on the way there. Or maybe I'm gonna fight this lady. Who do you think you are desecrating the halls of our HQ? Unfortunately, I don't have a, as much of a repertoire of female voices as I do have those. We're just gonna punch this cat in the face. Really, it's her fault for bringing her house pet into a Pokemon battle. Tough little trainer is what you are. But yeah, I am. You're so welcome. We get around Galactic HQ by a system of round warp panels. Do you think you'll ever learn the way that they connect with good luck? Oh, thank you. I'm sure that good luck was facetious, but I'm gonna take it as a as an actual boon. Just to spite you. I would like to use this key that I just got. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam. I think I can teach Gallade that move. Just in case we have any dragon types that we need to fight against. I 
time they're gonna release the last Guilty Gear character. We we just talked about Saul Bad Guy, and and now I'm kind of craving him. People are kind of divided on who it might be. A lot of people are saying that's gonna be Slayer. A lot of people are saying that's gonna be uh, Asuka. I think it would be fun to play as that man. this way a little bit faster. Not by much, but a little bit. Get through the front door? Let's check that out. Giraffe Rig, I know that you can go faster than me. This is Team Galactic Head. Sorry, this is the Galactic Bailstone Building. Cosmic energy for the win! Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harness that boundless energy? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just talking to you as I pass through. Don't mind me. Man, you guys should have fought me together, you'd have a better chance. Having fun scampering around our HQ, you sneaky intruder. Your trailblazing will go out in a blaze of glory right now. Are you gonna use a fire type Pokemon? No, you're not. Why, why did you say stuff about blazing? Are you playing Guilty Gear 2? <laughs> he's just, he's so hooked on the uh, Strive. Theme, that he just he inserts blazing into everything. It's canon now. Oh, no. At least you get that one to uh, level 40. I don't think it has a good like. I don't think it has a good chance against Golbat though. Let's see what happens when we throw Shotaro out. He needs a couple of levels, too. Man, everything sucks. I should've seen that coming. I was gonna say, okay, this is gonna be an actual fight, but... This guy's gold bat is good at missing Screech. Oh no! You raised- you lowered my defense. On the turn that I'm going to kick your ass. It, it was a solid strategy. You- you would have had me. If I just wasn't such a main character. Your trailblazing streak was on. So uh, you have momentum. It's too late. The experiment's done. Okay. What experiment? Oh, jeez, I should have read that. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, hey, it's cool bad again. I. Guard did nothing against laser blades. They, sh they should have specified that. Let's 
Silcoon? I think this is a job for Kodane. Alright, use the spicy attack. Hell yeah. What? I don't get it. What's your rush? Jeez, you didn't listen to me when I talked to you at first. Now you beat my ass? Pokemon are that important to you? Is that what this is all about? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon are pretty good. Hey, you watching your shows? I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic! You got it, Darius. Don't you fret, this year, Darius. You won't feel any pain. Okay, I guess we'll use Drain Punch to the best. Okay, that was the best. I'm glad I used that. Ah, I got whipped! I look pathetic. Our boss is a scientific genius. He'll make the power of the legendary Pokemon his own. Okay. You you go watch your ad for a department store. Oh hey, I'm in the bedroom. Yes, I would like to take a rest. That means up the stairs is something important, right? Maybe I'll check the other places first. That looks like plot. Okay. There's definitely an item hidden around here. Oh, unless it's on the other side. You sneaky fish. Oh, jeez. I also missed uh, Fancy Unicorn. Thank you so much for following. You stealth followed me yesterday on my day off. There we go. Good old Max Revive. God, I'm so glad that we have bottomless pockets in this game. I've forgotten, like, with Pokemon Yellow, it was, uh... Oh, hold up. Look beyond the world, space will become Team Galactic's. I wonder if that's different in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. It's like Team Galactic will rule for all time or something. When I was growing up, I I got Pokemon Diamond. I just thought that the Alga looked cooler, but then I realized later on in life, Palkia is just pink Mecha Godzilla. Are you enjoying your unescorted, unauthorized, and unsettling tour of Team Galactic HQ? Hey there, little trainer. You're famous among Team Galactic. The order has been issued. We get a promotion if we put you down. Put me down. Are you gonna kill me? God. I've been learning how to play uh, guitar, and the tip of my index finger is numb because of the uh, 
threats that I have to press down. It is incredibly annoying to press down on something and be like, wait, hold up, what, what's going on here? Shotaro, fill up! Ah, no worries, Marcus. Nice to see ya. To be fair, I was also late. Not for a good reason either. I I made myself an Egg McMuffin for breakfast. In and out of consciousness? That's a lot better of a reason than I had. I, I think you might get a pass on this. Are you doing alright, buddy? Tired? Oof. I getcha. Well, hopefully you can chill out and rest. I wonder why they call it the rest room. Like, you, you don't go there to just chill out. God, I feel like Jerry Seinfeld. I wonder why they call it a restroom. You don't go there just to chill out. That, that, that's the... That's the Seinfeld noise I've just decided to right now. my promotion. It doesn't matter what happens to the Team Galactic HQ building. Soon, all will belong to Team Galactic. What's so special about you anyway? Just like any other kid trainer anywhere else. Well, yes. Yes, I am. Anything good here? Hanging out behind some boxes. Here's the other side of those boxes. Ooh, rare candy. And the oh jeez. That's gonna be useful in the Elite Four. I'm actually going to throw Shotaro at the front of the party since he's the lowest level. <laughs> Gotta give him power. Oh, hey, we got Cyrus. Sorry, I, I know I just opened the door, but I just gotta save, please. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expect to see that the trainer is a mere child. I'd heard our... He's like this one. I've heard our command. Leader. I've had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it here. It's about Uxi, Mexpert, and Azel, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. You, you could care less? Oh, that means that you actually care. Ha <laughs> ha I'm a kid. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. 
Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking of human heart. You are compelled to come here by such va- uh, God. You are compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. You mean like Rom the Spider from Bloodborne? I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Damn. This, this means it's kind of a bop, though. It's alright, Shotaro. You get a bonus against dark types. But not if they're also flying types. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, he just used God. That's fine. God, the bass player is going crazy in this song. No, I'm gonna keep my current Pokemon. Welcome back, Marcus. Okay, maybe I'm gonna swap out my Pokemon. Maybe this is where Philip takes the main stage. That's fine. It's cool. Okay, well, I can't use my healing attack, so... I guess we gotta destroy this bat's brain. Ooh, Sword Stance might be better than that, uh, Nasty Flog. Though I guess, hmm... Because Aura Sphere is a special attack move. How far am I in Shin Megami Tensei 5? <laughs> we'll find out after. We'll find out at 8 p.m., huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure we haven't beaten Lamu yet, but we're on the way to him. Like, uh, I think we just finished Finn the Cool. You're past Lamu. Oh, man. Yeah, nice to see you, Trump. My last Pokemon. Ah, Sneasel. I'm gonna Hadouk in your face. The last of the DLC bosses? Man. Maybe you should buy the DLC. Oh, you're you're fighting Demi Fiend? I mm, I don't think you're ready for Demi Fiend. So you marked it as spoiled. Discord wouldn't spoil it, dude. Still, uh, I'm sure it turned out really, really well, Trump. I mean, from what you've posted, it looks like you're kind of good at what you do, so... <laughs> I see. You are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokémon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all, uh, and like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. Killed the White Rider already, now you're gonna fight the Red Rider? Nice! That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. A Master Ball. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. 
It will unfailingly catch any Pokémon in the wild, but it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokémon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use the Pokémon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokémon my own. Victory posted in creative, too spicy. The one of Topa? I mean, that's that's not spicy, that's muscles. I mean, you did a great job on the lighting. Because if, if the light source is the halo, like, yeah, absolutely rocked it. If you wish to save the Pokémon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I'm up to, uh, I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I abandoned emotion, but I didn't abandon rhymes. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and then put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Okay, so po Pokémon Legends is what if, what if Cyrus won? What if Cyrus won and we got Isekai to Kisui when he created the new world? Show it to your tattoo teacher. She wants you to do the same thing with Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa does have a lot of muscles. I I, th I think he's a good subject for that. I cooperate with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. What what are those? Are those embryos? You guys have, you guys have seen like. Spooky sci-fi movies, right? I can't say anything in our defense. But that thing we made, what's it going to be used for? They're clones! That's right, technically, like, earlier this month, Mewtwo was... was born. Got a new Algami Essence. Wrath Tempest. Eight weak physical attacks to random foes with higher effects. When crit. Passive increases the chance of crit. Damn. And then if you use your Magatsuhi ability to just always crit, then you, then you got a good attack there. Uxie's suffering. Nespert's suffering. Hey, Azelf, are you suffering? Azelf is having a good time. You came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would you let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come, let me welcome you. Consider a payback for you insulting me at the lake. Which is one MP cost? That's pretty good, that's really good. How much is some of the DLC for SMT? We're, we're going to take a quick... I hope that didn't sign me out. I, I just thought of that right now. Now, let's see. Four bucks. Is that each? Alright, so if I want, like... A lot of the good DLC. I I at least want that one. Oh god, that's seven. So it's thirty-five bucks for the bundle. Oof. Okay, we're good. Twenty-five bucks USD. Yeah, but remember, the Canadian Monopoly money is not worth as much as your freaking bucks. Lucario, you're you're not hitting him. You're lightly caressing him. Let's try Meliflaw.
Okay, why is she, why did you make it rain? Shotaro was so focused on the bending spoon that he just did act as he felt. That, that's my only explanation for that. Ready up your plans for your campaign for this week? Unless you need to skip a week. Your sister-in-law wants to have a weekend off a month so she can your broken have a date night. Ah, uh, that's pretty... Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, well, since you went through the trouble of doing rain dance, let's send out a water-type Pokemon. <laughs> I bought myself some cider and some white wine this week. I'm really enjoying both of them. I think cider is my favorite alcoholic beverage. Oh shit. Okay. Maybe we swap out in Polion. Maybe Shotaro makes his comeback here. A uh, fierce roar increases your defense by one rank for three turns. Draw the aggro. Your counter skill is really good. That sounds good. Yeah. Motherfucker. God damn it! You're more powerful than Cyrus! I mean, I, I guess we're gonna use Philip. Cyrus is a lying sack of shit. It's fine. We've we've established that uh, Pokemon Legends is because of him. He created new worlds. That's a better game than this. We should thank him, really. He said that he doesn't care about emotion, but that will be surprised when you're close to your goal bat. Interesting. Though it could be that Golbat developed emotions towards Cyrus. Like like it may it might be a one-sided relationship. And we should feel bad for Crobat. You're tough, kid. I still pity the likes of you. Ah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. This big red button here? I mean, yellow button? God, I don't know my colors. I do know that if you put your hands out like this, the one that goes L is the left hand but not on the camera. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. That's all I know. Who knows what he's fighting to do up there? Who knows indeed. Oh sure, you're gonna leave those embryos hanging out. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should have probably read that sign. I mean, I assume it just said Team Galactic's gonna... Yeah, everything belongs to Team Galactic, of course. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Mount Coronet. 
just as soon as I heal up. And maybe buy some Pokeballs. So I think after Astral Chain, we're gonna play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's a shorter game, and it's like the same style of game as Astral Chain, so it won't be like we're uh, swapping things out. Internet crapped out? Ah, that sucks. I've been there, though. I, I have had the internet crap out at the very end of a stream. It was, it wasn't good. <laughs> I, I think it was after the end of the, uh... One of the poke... Sorry, one of the Fool's Gold streams. Ooh! Hey there, Yugi boy! Hey there, RDF! I think that was going a bit more jive than Pegasus. Jeff on the watch along? That's when it was, yeah. When Sabrina and I were just chatting at the end and then my internet died. <laughs> oh, that was a good time. I gotta have Sabrina on the show again. Free berries? Fuck yeah. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. Bring back the witchy vibes. Those are the vibes that Sabrina brings. If you want witchy vibes, Sabrina just hands them out. Be beating me won't take long? Excuse me, I just destroyed Team Galactic. Though you do have the mystical, like, good smell aura from cartoons, so... Alright, let's punch a bug. Or rather, we're gonna Hadoken a bug. I didn't see that coming. Oh no, you're dead. <laughs> she she knows that she's fucked up by challenging me, but like the rules of society are that she has to finish this. It's not very effective, but it's still bad. Uh, a real-life example of that is, like, if an ant bit your jugular in such a way that it would just, like, spurt out. Like, that that is the real-life equivalent of it's not very effective, but you're still dead. I probably have, like, an antidote or something, right? Yeah, I do. No, thank you. That gets over really fast. Yeah. That that's why you shouldn't turn your back to ants. They uh they got some crazy shit going on. Okay, I should probably throw the uh, cleanse tag on Shotaro. Because I don't really want to fight low-level Zubats. So hard to map a course or tell elevation? Yeah. 
The map, the map's real bad. Oh great, a low-level Zubat. Just what I ordered. God. I made a homemade Egg McMuffin before the stream today, and it was fantastic. I used a cookie cutter to shape the egg. Uh, so it was like the, the perfect kind of hockey puck that you get in there. Americans don't know how to read elevation maps. Yeah, what if they do it in, uh, in meters? Then you guys are fucked. Protein! Use Canning Gerwoods? Oh, that's a good one. I tried to use one, but it did not adhere to the surface of my pan well enough, so it just spilled out the bottom. Wow, this cleanse tag doesn't do shit, does it? <laughs> now it's a good thing I have another. Actually become the big bad? Oh no. They're talking about selling her as- What? Why? Why would your party do that? Are you playing like an evil campaign? Send the party to the Shadow Realm. They're not all good aligned, mostly neutral. Remember, a as the DM, you can shift your players' alignments. If you're if your if your players are being evil, you can say like, "Hey, you're being a piece of shit." Uh, so now now you're neutral evil, not neutral neutral, or like lawful neutral. I mean, you should tell them to watch the backup character episode that I'm going to be doing with everyone, because they might need them. One more? No, not one more. Even considering selling someone to slavery would slip you into neutral evil territory? Yeah. Oh honey, you haven't seen chaotic evil. You will learn what it really is. What one rule that I have is that you can't play an evil alignment unless everyone's playing an evil alignment. Because that just messes up with the party way too much, in my opinion.
Like, I, I personally think that's detrimental to your party to have everyone at, like, different alignments. Because that means that your goals are going to be different, and there's going to be some PvP along the way, likely. And I, I also don't like PvP in tabletop, unless everyone's agreed on it, and everyone's willing to not have hard feelings. Which is very, very rarely the case. for Druid Circle tries to mess with them. I, I feel like the Druid Circle would be more inclined to mess with them if they sold one of their own into slavery. But, you know what? Sometimes your player characters don't think. And that's, that's when the DM gets ammunition. That's how you get Buclair. <laughs> God, you, you should make that girl, like, good guy Buclair. Links her to a Chaotic Evil Goddess. If she's messed with negatively enough, she will lose it and allow the Chaotic Evil Goddess to take over. Oh, boy. See, what I would do in that situation is, uh, have her usurp the power of the Chaotic Evil go uh, Goddess and say that she's fighting for good. To make your party feel like they're being evil, like, to, to show them, like, oh wow, the, the good guy's fighting against you. It would be kind of like a moment of realization for your players that may maybe they're, uh, maybe they're being assholes. Had someone play, uh, sorry, try to PvP your character because you're playing as a necromancer? Because he's playing Chaotic Stupid Paladin? In, like, uh, one of my first campaigns, we had a, oh, God damn it. we had a player who didn't know how to read the room. Like, uh, I, I was playing as a druid that really focused on, uh, animal companions, and I had, like, a, a, a smattering of land sharks, like, little beulets. Uh, and during the introduction of my character, the first thing that he asked was, like, oh, do you know their genders? And my character's like, no, I, I've never bothered to check. And his paladin's like, okay, I'm gonna check. And it's like, you're, you're gonna finger my sharks? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Turn her into arena, absolute consequences. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, it's a wake-up call if you make your characters realize that they're the bad guys. And they have to deal with the consequences of that. Like, it might not have started out as an evil campaign, but they made it an evil campaign. He even got to the point where he was convinced- uh, sorry, he convinced the cleric to start wasting their destroy undead... ...just to kill your minions? What the fuck? Alright, I think Shotaro needs just a little bit of a top-up. I think a, a super potion might be fine. In fact, a regular potion might have worked, too. It's down here. Enchantment magic is fucked up, like roofing someone without drugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess all magic's fucked up, depending on how you use it. Like, Are Arena uses heat metal to make her steel ball spicy so she can deck people in the face with uh, a hot ball. But you can also boil someone alive in full play. What one of those is a is an interesting way to attack, and the other one's a war crime. Yeah, 
Yeah, Ir Irina had four spells at her disposal that she could only use one at one time. She had Heat Metal, Chill Metal, Wall of Force, and, uh, hey, here's, here's plus four to your AC. <laughs> Oops. I need a phone game. If only Arena thought to use Heat Metal for fighting that 1 HP old man. She, she had the spell, she just didn't use it. <laughs> and that that wasn't me being in character, that was Carson being done. That, that was... I, I didn't realize I should probably use Heat Metal on the guy's sword. And accidentally being in character for a disgruntled arena that just wants to hit things. <laughs> Who's texting me at 2.06 p.m.? It's a very suspicious text message from Costco saying that, uh, I have an unclaimed reward. I think maybe I don't have an unclaimed reward from, co uh, from Costco. Heat metal on a Mercury Dragon should deal double damage. See, I go the opposite direction. Uh, if I were fighting the Mercury Dragon right now, I'd use Chill Metal to solidify the Mercury Dragon. So that it can't move. Heat Metal makes a Goopy and fall apart. I guess that depends on like, the Mercury Dragon, right? Because, like, Heat Metal does... What? If it is just naturally in this liquid state, it might have a, uh... Like, it might just be able to deal with being liquid. So no matter... Like, as long as you don't turn into a gas or a solid, then it can still have full control over itself. Yeah, turn into a gas... Well, okay, but... The problem with that is then you have to deal with gaseous mercury and breathing it in. <laughs> Felix has given us mercury poisoning before. <laughs> Using Mammoth Graveyard with Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I wonder... What's in the underground around here? No, nothing. Nothing's in the underground right here. That makes sense. Alright, well, let's climb this mountain, huh? Pulse into the cave instead. That is how- that is what would happen, yes. Alright, well having a breakable rock in front of a non-breakable rock kinda shows that there's an item there, right? Who kept their max potion under that rock? They did a bad job of hiding it. Okay, that looks like plot. Let's see what was in the other entrance to the map. Giving you anxiety, you kept 
getting to one duel away from platinum and falling backwards for six duels. Oof. I I completely get you, buddy. The exact same thing happened to me in Pokémon Tournament, where I got to like one of the higher ranks, and every time I was about to go one rank higher, I would lose like a bunch at once. Oh, I don't have a waterfall yet. Damn it. Oh, hey, it's Bronzong. Don't suppose my Hadoken will kick its ass. No, it won't. I wonder if it's because it's psychic though. Alright, well, we'll do Nasty Plot and then we'll do Aura Sphere. Alright, try this. There we go. Show that bitch what for. Now I need to heal. Actually, if I use a single Moo Moo Milk on Shokuro. I rang its bells. Is there a clock Pokemon? Can I say that I cleaned a Pokemon's clock? Do we do we have Pokemon Time Wizard? <laughs> God, I'm getting, like, the beginnings of a headache. Maybe I need to have a coffee. I know sometimes if I don't have coffee for a couple of days, I start getting a headache. Cone Edge? Or, no. I, I know who you're talking about. Also, thanks, Trump. I mean, I guess. Was Stonehenge a clock? That would make sense, I guess. I don't know any of the lore behind Stonehenge, to be honest. A lot of the European mythology lore that I know comes from Shin Megami Tensei and Fade. Oh, sorry, I meant Clock. C L O C K. Though you are correct, half of Aegis Slash is literally a block. Alright, Galactic Grunt. Our time will come! Ah ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! This guy's Mandark now, I just decided. Oh no, that's not going to be very effective. Lucario turned from Ryu to Dan. Dog, oh, you got this. You just used your bone rush. 
Real talk, my main in Street Fighter was Dan for a while. <laughs> he basically played like uh, Ryu and Ken, but everyone got angry when I played him, so I kind of missed that. It changed to Ibuki when I got really into Street Fighter 3. She was also my main in Street Fighter 4, but when I when Street Fighter 3 Online came out, I was I just got really into Ibuki. I love the laser noise that they put on Psycho Cut. <laughs> it's so goofy. It's great. No, I'm gonna keep uh, Philip out. Everybody was laser fighting! Those hits were fast as light. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many Pokemon you try to take as my tools. I mean, I'm friends with my Pokemon. I don't know what you're talking about. I I, I never named one of these Yua. No, no one here is Doku. I'm gonna run away from this one. Remember to ring that bell and uh, like, comment, subscribe. That's what they say on YouTube, right? I have, I haven't been in the YouTube game since like 2019, so I, I got no idea what it's like anymore. Should have caught Clefairy. Oh well. They better give me a way to heal before I get to Cyrus. Otherwise, I might be in some trouble. me that Latios had access to the move Memento, because it's like, why why would Latios kill itself? And then I watched Pokemon Heroes, and I was like, okay, this makes more sense now. God. I got no uh, questions for the... Uh, the stream on Monday, so I gotta start whipping up my own. I I had a couple prepared, but uh, if if we don't get a lot of questions on Twitter, I'll uh, I think I'm gonna take a day to just write some down and just like really focus on making some. No questions yet? No, I kind of figure that we'll probably have more in the chat as uh, as they come up. Is RDF. It's just something that I, uh, I just have to consider now, you know?
Sure, let's uh let's smash all these rocks, see what's in. Still being all head gunky? Nah, yeah, I get it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, repost about it on Saturday. And see if maybe uh, I just missed out on a lot of people by posting it on Monday. I don't want him to choke. I want to find a Sneasel. Good Sneasel. Oh, I got Snowbomber. Let's see if I can get it low enough with Aura Sphere. It might kill him. Oh, that is low enough. And now he's gonna get more HP. Fuck. Oh, that's actually not too bad. swagger. It's like, yeah, he hits harder, but he's gonna do it to him. <laughs> my, my boy is gonna be destroying himself now that he's extra swole. Uh, swole. Swagger is basically just Roy Rage, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's a critical catch. It succeeded. Pulse might be a good one. But will we have a lot of the use for it? I I'd like to keep Misty Terrain. So maybe we'll just drop Heal Pulse. Since I have no other Well, Marshmallow might have Moonblast, actually. I was I was thinking more along the lines of fairy attacks. I was gonna give uh, uh, Philip Dazzling Gleam. Obama Snow, the Frost Tree Pokemon. It blankets wide areas in snow by whipping up blizzards. It is also known as the Ice Monster. That's not an actual place I can go. Okay, I guess I could have just gone here the entire time. Oh, hey. The presence of Galactic Grunts makes me think that this is also plot, so... think the DLC for Pokemon Legends would be like. Because I I would love to have DLC where you go through a space-time rift and have to fight Cyrus or something. You know 
know what? That guy, that guy believes in the him that believes in himself. So you know what? You get a pass. Team Black and Drunk. I'd also like them explore the Sinjo ru uh, ruins. Like, I, I think it would be really cool if they, uh... If the next game in the series for Legends would take you to Johto. Like, the Kanto Johto area. In ancient times. Well, I guess ye olden times. It really does feel weird to call the time period in Pokemon Legends ancient, because it's not. They they at the very least have steam power. And that, that ain't ancient. That's just old. like, bonk, now I can defend better. Alright, Marshmallow. In the name of the moon, I will punish you! Trying to learn the uh, opening riff to Disenchanted by Mad Chemical Romance on the guitar. I've been able to play it on piano, so I know how it's supposed to go, but like... I'm used to using a pick on my electric so far, and it requires you to pluck two of the strings, but like, there's a string in between them. And it took me forever to realize, oh, if I just drop the pick and just grab those two strings and go like, eh, it'll, it'll play the note that I need. <laughs> My index finger is also getting numb because I've been pressing down on frets. It's, uh, it's a bit worrying, to be honest. It's not used to it? Yeah. I've got delicate... Dainty fingers. Got them femboy fingies. Oh shit, the new Batman comes out pretty soon too. I've been so excited for Doctor Strange that I haven't been, uh... Taking a look at what the new Batman's all about. How hard am I holding down the string? Pretty hard. I think I need to adjust the action on my uh, guitar because the the string's pretty high. Oh, that's right. Ever really liked the Batman movies growing up? That's fair. I mean. I like DC, but their animated shit is a lot better than their live-action shit. I think, like, Shazam and Wonder Woman were the outliers. It'll damage the nerves in your fingies. Oh, okay. It... I've been contemplating bringing it to uh, a guitar shop to get it set up, but that's like a $75 commitment at least. Maybe I'll ask my brother if he'd be willing to do it for me. Anime and stuff over live action for DC? Yeah. Like, they had a really cool thing going with uh, the DC animated universe. 
And then they were like, nah, we don't have the money for this. Let's just make Flashpoint 2 and just kill everyone off and then kill Green Lantern off screen for some reason. Real talk, I want another John Constantine movie. If I could do the accent, I would absolutely audition to be Constantine. This trip is long, hard, and draining. Shotaro needs more PP in his bone. And that's not even a sex joke, that was legitimately what he needed. I wasted an elixir! Oh fuck! I I thought that was a potion! <laughs> um... Well, I gotta live with that mistake. I'm, I'm not, uh... I'm not adjusting it. It's a British accent or an Australian accent? I think it's more like a... Like an almost Scottish. Like if someone was living on the border with Scotland and... But, but they were still on the England side. Good, this one doesn't have levitate. One more? Hell yeah! But yeah, I mean, in the 2000s, I believe, they tried to make a Constantine movie with Keanu Reeves. It, uh... It wasn't great. You love that one? Oh man, I, I thought it was a serviceable movie, but definitely not what I was hoping for. Mind you, I watched it not when I was young. I, I watched it, like, as an adult, so... I think if I was a kid, I would have had a lot more fun with it. Because, like, when did Constantine come out? How old would I have been? Two thousand five, I would have been like twelve. I don't think I was allowed to see it. Shia LaBeouf was really good in that movie? Oh man. Yeah, back then I would have only known him from Even Stevens. <laughs> I wonder what- what happened to Beans from Even Stevens? Apparently enough people want to know that Vice made an article about it. Some worried beans, played by Stephen Anthony Loris, uh, Lawrence, may have wandered down a problematic path in the 20 years since his Even Stevens debut. Testament to the hazards of child stardom, perhaps, or being too closely affiliated with legumes. But Disney Channel's ultimate cousin Oliver, who arrived as a youthful injection of sass in the middle of Even Stevens' second season, is seemingly okay. He can open his own can of beans, he quipped to Vice. And my favorite type of bean is a jelly bean. Uh, there's, there's his backstory. What's he doing right now? Oh, he, he has a beard. That's interesting. He co-hosts a bipartisan political talk show called The Rice and Beans Show. That's actually a really good name for a talk show. He's still close to uh, two of his uh, co-stars. 
I, I guess that he's not close to, uh, to Shia LaBeouf. And apparently he, like, at, at, when Trump became a thing, he was like, man, that sucks. I should go and, like, do something against that. Man. Beans has gone a long way, hasn't he? Oh, now Shotaro gets heal pulse. Nah. We don't need heal pulse. God. I always thought that I watched mostly animation when I was a kid, and I didn't watch a lot of live-action shows, but g thinking about it, I did. I watched a decent amount. Like Boy Meets World, Teen Angel, uh, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, even Stevens. I also have a feeling that, uh, having Philip at the front is gonna do better for me than having Shotaro right now. You've worked so hard to get here. You should be proud of yourself. Now I'll send you packing with only that happy thought. Well, thank you for giving me a happy thought before you send me packing. Oh man. So when I when I was making dinner last night, I had the choice of making like katsu curry. I had the choice of making like some really good like barbecue chicken. But instead, I went into my freezer, got some frozen chicky fingies uh, and some eggos, and I made myself chicken and waffles. Though I did make my own hot sauce. I, uh, I took some franks and I took some Tabasco sauce, threw it in a pan with a, a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some butter, uh, and some sugar. Reduced that down so it was a bit sticky, and it paired so nicely with the syrup. I, I want to have that again. I'm making you hungry, oh man. He's also good as a cannibal, yeah! Spoiled for choice, but all good choices, exactly. That's the problem. I, I usually get a, a meal box delivered to me every week. So I know and can plan for what I'm going to have for dinner all week, but I skipped it this time. And uh, I'm kind of regretting that, since I have too many choices. I've also got some breakfast sausages that I need to use. Sausage and egg McMuffin by uh, decasing some breakfast sausages. If that would be good. You know what? You were nice enough to give me hope. We couldn't stop you. We'll be discarded as useless. Our boss is ruthless that way. I mean, just go, go back to being a normal person. I I'm sure that you'd be a really cute office lady. Oh, hey, we're... We're in a spicy part of the game. Who's talking to me? <laughs> Something huge is gonna happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't meddle around, of course. You're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. Grunt and grunt. I wonder who will win. Don't decase the sausages, you monster. 
Normally I wouldn't, but if I want to make a patio out of them, I don't really have a choice, do I? I I could take like I could buy some sausage casing and tie them together into like a sausage raft. sausages when you want to make a sausage spaghetti? Yeah. I feel like, though, RDF does have a point. Breakfast sausages, you really shouldn't be case. Because then they're not breakfast sausages anymore. They're just meat. Making, like, some good sausage spaghetti, though, with, uh, like, the case Italian sausage, that's, that's the way to go. Where I live, we actually have a, like, a really well-done chain of, uh, Italian import shops called the Italian Center Shop. Holy shit, I... Their deli is so much cheaper than any supermarket deli in the area. No glove, no love on your sausage. I mean, that's also a good rule for casual sex. Drill pad. I do want to give my boy a giga drill breaker. Maybe I'll ditch Brian. Or Aqua Jet. Yeah, we'll get rid of Aqua Jet. Always glove before love. Exactly. Unless, unless you got plans. If you know what you're doing, you can de-glove. God, we really need to play Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, we are not using Parish Song. Do what you gotta do with your sausages, but boy, I love a nice snappy. No, you are absolutely right, RDF. Have having a nice snappy sausage in the morning is amazing. Well, that was just pathetic. We were gonna let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Sorry, we are just going to. Oh, this is a boss rush. Nothing good here. Okay, well, we're gonna save. Being dedicated to watching one YouTube guy make weird so- We talking about Ordinary Sausage? Because I've also been watching Ordinary Sausage, thanks to Charlie. All will end, and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Palkia, the mythical Pokémon and master of space and dimensions. Yo, let's get Pink Mecha Godzilla! Pink phallic mecha, uh, mecha Godzilla. That's that's turning the sky into a CRT for some reason. Okay. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Feel the dimensions distorting. Only I can stop it.
This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh, Palkia, the ancient deity of space and dimensions. Digyaga! This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It is far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Peace, bitches, I'm out. <laughs> no. You don't think you can just run off now, do you? You know, I really thought I could. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad. You'll just have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming. We, we just talked about gloves. Listen. Don't you start the party without me. <laughs> well, if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Acuity, did you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. Your ancestor was way better than you, Mars. They both got Bronzor, and they're both... Both not doing great against uh, the stuff that I got. Ooh, they know how to stack their buffs. Good job. If only I took that fighting move that destroyed Light Screen and uh, Reflect. Man, I'm just beating on Mars right now. Psycho cut. I'm grumpy here. Pachoo, pachoo. just gonna remove Mars from the equation. Not shit poison. Alright, maybe, maybe Mars is gonna destroy Philip. Munchlax, don't you dare hit Philip. There we go. I would prefer you do that than hit my friend. prefer uh, video games that fully restore you when leveling up or ones that just sort of they raise your stats by the amount that you leveled up so you don't necessarily get a full heal but you get a little bit of a heal I personally think that uh, both have their merits depending on the game but I heavily favor 
the, uh, you get healed when you level up. Level. Because, like, let's say you're going through a, a hell of a dungeon, and, like, you're you're on your last legs, and you should probably turn back, but, like, you beat, you beat a dire rat, and you level up, and suddenly you have the chance to take on the rest of the dungeon. Like, it, it really helps you get reinvigorated for the fight. Ah, uh, that's some bad poison. Philip can last. Does poison kill you, or does poison just take you down to one? I guess we're about to find out. No, poison kills you. Gun tank. Why does its cry sound like a fart? Like they absolutely used a fart sound effect for making its cry. When, when does the bat come out? I, I think I'm actually gonna go see it. Thursday, March 3rd. Hmm. I might be able to catch it before it works. Oh, no way. I'm going to be starting at 4.30 and the only time available is 3, so... Shotaro's gonna die. Thanks, Shotaro. Alright, who's gonna be effective? Oh, only Shotaro had a super effective move. That kinda sucks. Uh, what are my directions? Revive Shotaro and then just let let the Munchlax do its thing. Ah, good job, Napoleon. That's why you get to stay on my team. Instead of being delegated to the boss. I'm fighting myself. Huh, you've toughened up, but you're no match for our bot. I never noticed that her uh, her outfit kind of had like only shorts on one side. Look, look at that absolute territory going on. That's actually I'm kind of down with that. I I like to shit talk the uh, the admins from this game, but they're kind of growing on me. Heh. <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's for us. We've hit the wall. Don, I'll help you with this. Oh, thanks. You mean I didn't have to waste my my healing items? Hey, Don, this is it. It's your show now. Oh, okay, later. Oh, Palkia. This is... Palkia. Ooh. Mm. Cyrus is Zarbon now. Fantastic. Beautiful. This is the creation of a new galaxy. My new world. No, he... Cyrus is not Zarbon. 
was. Yeah, you made the you made a mistake telling me to uh to release these guys. Nyanyi? Yo, what up, Mesprit? Mesprit is the being of emotion, and the fact that it recognizes us means that we are the counter to Cyrus's anti-emotion stance. The Red Chain! It crumbled away to nothing? But why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokémon of Lake Verity, appear at your side? Never mind that, it's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone, I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. Before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Joke's on you. I like Orange Crush. Oh wow, in the 30 seconds it took for me to get here, you evolved your Murkrow into a Honchkrow. Well done. Oh, well done, guy. Oh no, my evasiveness. What would I do without my... Evasiveness. If only you could just blow your full heal on your first guy. didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I'd say I'm overleveled for the area, but his Pokemon are like in their mid-level 40s. So at the very least, they should prove a little bit of a challenge, right? Weavile's Dark Ice, so Drain Punch is gonna really fuck him up. Or not. Or yes. Or very much yes. That that berry did nothing for you, buddy. Gyarados. This is going to be good against Gyarados. I have nothing with electric type moves, huh? Fuck it, let's see what Shotaro does. I admit that you have pushed me to the extreme. Hmm. 
This is bad. That none of none of that is gonna work for me, thank you. Let's see if Marshmallow can do this. Marshmallow might have a little bit of trouble. Oh, especially if he knows Ice Fang. Oh, especially if he freezes Marshmallow. With his fiery determination... Marshmallow, thank you. Let's hope putting Gyarados to sleep is going to work out for me. Good job, Marshmallow. This... this cannot be! It's not possible that I'll lose. Marshmallow did two crits in a row. Marshmallow's just happy to be here. Finally being used. <laughs> yeah, we'll swap out side beam for side beam. I won't accept this. The power spoken of in mythology. I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own. Yeah, you're using past tense there. That's the problem. What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most beautiful thing, the joy that shines the brightest. I'm telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I will become a deity one day, and I will make the ultimate mine. Well, no, I think Rourke wants that. Palkia, the master of space and the dimensions. It's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. But, to me, Palkia appears to be waiting for you, Dom. It seems to be challenging you, as a test. Go on, Dom. Face up to Palkia. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Palkia is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Palkia seems to be trusting you to stop it. Don, I just ran into Dusk. He said that he believed in you. He said that you could get the job done. I think so too. You've got to help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. I believe in the power of saving. How's, how are my Pokemon doing? Maybe I should heal. Marshmallow ain't looking so hot. <laughs> I think Marshmallow is actually my best chance at, uh, at beating up Palkia. Gagia, <sighs> gah. Oh, jeez. This is a pretty stage. I really like this stage.
Good job. Please don't land a crit on this next hit. If you land a hit on this next hit, I'm, go I'm going to need to restart the game. Okay, we, we good. Now, hopefully Palkia doesn't wake up. Good. I, I think we might be able to do this without our Master Ball. Ah, oh, shit. What if we caught in the Premier Ball? I'm, I'm willing to make the sacrifice. I'm gonna use all of my Premier Balls on Palkia. Oh, jeez. That's bad. Marshmallow, don't cry. I, I need you to sing one more time. Aw, oh, Marshmallow. You put up a valiant effort. Do I have anyone that has... All right, I think the strategy here. The first thing that we're going to do is use Misty Terrain to reduce the, the like, impact of Dragon type moves. That, that was like when in the last airbender, the earthbender has moved a pebble to hit a guy. It had the exact same impact as that scene. <laughs> it's alright, Marshmallow, drink your milk. Aw, oh, Marshmallow's thrilled to bits. Unfortunately, I think Philip might biff it. Aw, oh, it popped right out of there. If only I had full swipe. I'm going to rock you like a hurricane. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to lower Palkia anymore. No, we're gonna have to Ultra Ball this one. I was kind of hoping to catch Palkia in a special Pokeball. Let's use a net ball. It's water type. All right, we gotta bring out Marshmallow again. Hopefully Marshmallow's singing will give us the ability to catch Valkia. Just chill out. I would like to try and catch Valkia. Can't guarantee that'll work, though. Alright, well, uh, a quick ball is gonna be basically useless now.
let's try an Ultra Ball. Oof! I'm gonna need to use a couple of these. Oh, Aqua, Aqua Ring might give me a chance to attack it again. Palkia is just snapping these Pokeballs up. Nope. And Marshmallow's down for the count. I wonder if Empoleon is the way to go. Because I can, I can grind it up. And hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. I think if we do one last bride, it'll be low enough where an Ultra Ball is going to work okay. If we kill Palkia, though, I gotta reset. Okay. Th this is where we do it. I don't want to use my Master Ball on Palkia. I want to save it for like a shiny Pokemon or something. I think we might have to use Brine again. Two. We're a little bit past where I'd usually stop, but we're not gonna stop until we catch Palkia. This is my commitment to you, the viewer. Damn, maybe I should take a break from playing guitar, since my, uh, index finger is still numb. Here. We're gonna use a Moo Moo Milk on Marshmallow. And then... What do I have for these? Nothing that's gonna help me catch anything. Maybe we should just open with a quick ball. I doubt it's going to work, but I think that's the best option right now. Alright, 
so two moon blasts and sing. Oh, good job, Marshmallow. Well, maybe we'll... Because it does have a decent amount of HP left. Maybe Dragon Pulse will do it. Bring me closer to that little sliver of health that I need. No, you, you went way too far into the sliver of health. <laughs> also, big thanks to Trom and uh, Gideon for retweeting the tweet about the stream. Really helps me get the stream out there. And that's what I need mostly right now, is to get more people to see the stream. The goal is to reliably make a hundred bucks a month every uh, every month, so that I can afford to like not have to get a part time job while I'm at school. Because if I can get a hundred bucks a month, that takes care of most of my bills uh, that aren't like groceries or anything. Because it's 100 bucks USD, so it's it's more than 100 bucks Canadian. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a subathon just before I go to school. See if we can make a. Oh, God damn it. See if we can make enough to help pay for the moving truck. What if we open with Dragon Pulse? Okay, and then maybe a Moon Blast will take us to the sliver. That's what I'm talking about. We use Sing. Palkia is going to avoid that attack. All right, let's try that again. Oh no! Oh, Marshmallow, I need your Sing, please. Palkia, just go to sleep. Okay, we good. Keeping the dream alive, we're gonna try the, pre uh, the Premier Balls again. Damn it! Damn it! I'm, us I'm using the B down method. There's something more powerful than B down? When I was a kid, I used to press like A and B rapidly. Let's see if that works. Damn, well, I mean, A and B rapidly worked a lot better. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it, I hate awkward. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's a good one, too. Nope. Rest in peace, Marshmallow. You gave your body for the cause. Okay. I think Brian's gonna be what we need again. I'm just gonna wait for Palkia to heal just a little bit more. It's 
not very effective, but it crit. Okay, so it's in the yellow. Hopefully Brian takes it to a decent amount of HP. That aqua ring is going to be a bit of a problem, though. Oh, Brian did fuck all. I might be able to get up one more. Damn straight it failed. Got this in Folia. No, you had it too much. All right, how are we gonna do this? I want to catch Palkia in a Premier Ball, cause that I feel like that's a flex, you know. really excited for the new Doctor Strange. I won't give any spoilers for what the, uh, for what the trailer showed, but, uh, there's go there is a returning character that I'm really excited about. Okay. This is gonna be the time, right? We're gonna open with the quick ball. I doubt it'll do it, but... Yeah, it just popped. Oh, it's opening with Aqua Ring. That's gonna suck. I guess it'll prevent Marshmallow from killing it. Possibly. If you lose your Pokeballs and they don't catch the Pokemon. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's really shit. I feel like it would be better if there was just like a chance of them breaking, or like a. Like a thing that you could get that would reclaim Pokeballs. I, I think there is actually. I think uh, in Sword and Shield, uh, one of the Pokemon, I think it's Yamper, has like this fetch ability that will restore used Pokeballs. Side, it's asleep. Downside, it's Aqua Ring brought it back to the yellow. So, I mean, I'll try a Premier Ball, but it's not gonna do anything. That was that was way closer than I thought. <laughs> It makes me kind of believe in the Premier Ball, to be honest. 
No, not when you do that, Premier Ball. I'm, I'm gonna believe in you less if you keep doing that to me. That's really that really hurt Marshmallow. Gonna need you to get off a of sing, please. No! Oh man. All right, what's the plan now? to a town city name generator. <laughs> right, Shotaro. Aura Sphere never misses. So, it, it's gonna be the prime candidate for hitting this thing. Burnt to the ground. Oh man. One more class tomorrow on your free for reading week. Nice! I hope you enjoy your break. And by that I mean I hope you take a day to not do anything and just chill out. We're trying to catch Palkia. I'm not ending the stream until we catch Palkia. M maybe Metal Claw will do something. What, Digimon? I mean, technically it's Mechagodzilla. But in pink. So, Metal Greymon? The downside is, it has this HP restoring move that pisses me off. Yeah, I saw that coming. Take out your gun. I don't think we're on that... I don't think we ever got the, uh, the third installment of the Sword and Shield trilogy. Shorts... Uh, sh sword? Sword, Sealed, and Gun. I'm just throwing both balls in at this point. My boy Shotaro is gonna be, uh... gonna be killing this thing, probably, with this head. I'm gonna risk it, because I need it to be lower health for anything to happen. But not that low. That health that low doesn't mean that I catch it. That means I have to run away. Yeah. I mean, that, that happened a couple of times before you came here, Gideon. <laughs> it's alright. That means Marshmallow's alive again. Marshmallow is our... our unit for this fight. 
Marshmallow has the ability to get it down to a sliver of health and then make it sleep. Is this the final boss? Eh, sort of. It's the final boss of the villain arc. We still gotta deal with the final boss of the, uh, the tournament arc. Did I hear about the eShop shot again? Yeah. Luckily, it's in March of next year, so we got, like, a, a year and a bit. Don't die, Marshmallow. Marshmallow held on by one HP so I wouldn't be sad. All right, Marshmallow. Sing it to sleep. Oh, you... You didn't. And it used Aqua. And it used Aqua, right? All right. But yeah, uh, hopefully people can preserve games before the uh, the eShops shut down. Because uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that we're not going to have anymore if people don't, like, archive it. Okay. I'm going to try the Premier Ball again. It's not going to do anything, but... Palkia break free of the sleep. Have you seen how big it is compared to that Pokeball? If it decides to roll over in its sleep, it just it's that Pokeball's done. The data compression isn't that great. Uh, Marshmallow's done now. Thank you, Marshmallow. Marshmallow! Hanging out at 1 HP! I, d I think Marshmallow can rest now. Marshmallow, you you've done a lot for me. I appreciate it. Oh, welcome back, RDF. Fighting God? The false god, according to the Diamond Clan. Yeah, wel welcome to Carson just cannot catch this bitch. All because of Aqua Ring. You've been watching One Punch Man for the first time? I hope you're enjoying it. One Punch Man's my favorite until Season 2. One Punch Man Season 1 is an absolute gift upon this world. And Season 2 is good, but not, not even close to as good. Time you accomplish the task of catching. All right, we, we got to revive Marshmallow. Marshmallow needs to do this for us. He has strong opinions on single fist lad. Is it the same strong opinion as mine that uh, season two didn't really do anything for the in 
entirety of the series. Jam Project absolutely belted it out for the theme song, though. Like, Jam Project is consistently good when they do theme songs, but, like, for One Punch Man, they, they pulled out all the stops. TOS opinion, but you like to show a lot? Nah, fair enough. Palkia's HP just high enough for Marshmallow's Moonblast to not kill it. I'm hoping that it's this much, but I'm gonna give it one more turn. Hey guys, I don't think I'm gonna be giving it one more turn. <laughs> Good job, we caught God. Palkia, the spatial Pokemon. It is said to live in a gap in the spatial dimension parallel to ours. Palkia appears in mythology. Was that the full two hour and 33 minute stream? No. That, I want to say that was 15 minutes. Does, does that sound about right? I think that was 15 minutes. All right, Palkia's going in our party, but that means we have to ditch someone. Uh, Marshmallow has been an absolute unit. So, uh, we're keeping Marshmallow. Shotaro and Philip? They're, they're partners, so we gotta keep them. And Polion was our starter. Yeah, so we gotta keep them. It's down to Ponne and Girafferig. I, I think maybe we gotta bail on Ponne. Oh, Rita... Retire Marshmallow to a nice home. Hey, Marshmallow, you've done your job so far. You can go to sleep. What What's the Elite Four like? Uh. Let's see if we need fire for this. Uh, Aaron has bug type Pokemon, but they're. So that might be a good idea to have Pone for. Hmm. Retire sounds a lot like forced firing. Don't do what they did to the pig boss in Agretzko. Did... Oh, man, did they... I'm not caught up on Agretzko. I only watched the first season. Did they... Did they get rid of Ton? All right. Dawn! I don't know how you... You are truly magnificent! Truly, you are incredible! I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this! Since the last time, the professor did a lot of research. He became very worried about you. So he came to... Uh, sorry. So he came out to a place as terrible as this. Dawn, I'm glad to see you're safe. Let's leave this place already. No one has the right to take away anyone's future, or anyone's world. Alright, but we caught Palkia, so that, that means I can finally end the stream. Thanks for hanging out, everyone! Um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some Shin Megami Tensei at 8pm Pacific tonight. So, I'll, I'll be back. Um...
not really not really much to say the schedule this week is basically the default schedule um as usual i am doing a stream on monday next week uh about backup characters with a bunch of dms that are going to be great to answer these questions so if you have any questions about backup characters in tabletop rpgs uh please go ahead and uh put them on this post give me one sec i'll put it in the chat there we go uh i mean nightbot already posted up the discord if you guys want to join the watch party on friday and here's where you can find me on twitter and uh get space shark merch I'm going to be sending you guys over to, hmm, let's send you guys over to Girl DM. She's playing Risk of Rain 2. Girl DM's a VTuber that I saw some clips on YouTube of, and... I think that they're really good. So, uh, I hope you enjoy them too. Catch you later. <laughs>